in a rainforest in Costa Rica. Daniel Jansen, a world-renowned expert in the rainforest, is a biology professor at the University of Pennsylvania. He has dedicated his life to studying plants and insects in tropical climates. And you can see there's one stinging, stinging me there, trying to. Among his research work, he studies the symbiotic relationship between the bullhorn acacia and ants. This acacia tree features horn-like thorns in which ants make their home. The ants feed on the nectar secreted from the acacia branches. No matter how much nectar they eat, the supply seems to be endless. But the tree is not providing this for free. The nectar is exchanged for the ant services. Brown protein lipid nodules on the leaves also provide nourishment for the ants. With plenty of food to eat, the Pseudomyrmex ants do not need to prey on other insects. And the ants dwell in the recesses of the hollowed out thorns. The swollen thorns provide a safe home for the ants, where they can lay eggs. In return for all of this, the ants fulfill an important role. They aggressively defend the tree from acacia leaf-eating insects. This ladybug is under attack from the rushing ants. Many herbivores and insects like eating the acacia's tender leaves and sweet nectar. So the ants defend the tree from harmful insects in exchange for food and shelter. The tree has changed, evolved, and the ants have changed, evolved. They've changed from being hunters to being policemen. And all they do is protect the tree. She lives about 15 to 20 years. And when she dies, the colony dies. And when the colony dies, the tree dies. Without the ants, the acacia tree would be unable to survive. So it has evolved to accommodate the ants to ensure its survival. <laughs>